Hi folks, Don Bailey from Suburban Tool. We're here to show you some tips and tricks that we've learned throughout the years and we're going to share them with you in a number of videos. We're going to show you probably a dozen different videos where we can make you more efficient and have some fun doing it. So let's get started. Let's go up back. All right, so now we're back in Suburban's lab and we're going to show you today about cleaning a surface plate because I had Glenn clean the surface plate earlier today. Uh, Glenn, what'd you clean the surface plate with? With the stuff in the white jar. The stuff here? Yeah, yeah. And it's clean, right? Oh yeah. Really clean. Well, yeah, if you use that, right? All right, well, did you bring a lunch? Yeah. Give me your lunch. Mm. We're gonna give this baby the Wonder Bread treatment, man. You say it's clean, right? Yes. Okay, dude, what do we got here? What kind of sandwich? Peanut butter and jelly. Aha, uh -huh, peanut butter and jelly. I like peanut butter and jelly. So, we're gonna do the sandwich test here, dude. <laughs> this is clean, right? <laughs> Not now. Oh, no, no, the surface plate's the clean, surface right? Clean. Yeah, All right, okay. Well, we're gonna put this stuff back on your sandwich and the jelly. It's a mess, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I feel like Rachel Ray. Feel like I'm on a cooking channel. Here you go, dude. Take a bite. Uh, I'm not gonna eat. No. Wait, 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 wait. You said it was clean. Yeah, but I'm not gonna eat with the chemicals. Oh, now you're getting particular. All right. Well, let's just uh, clean this mess up here a little bit and let's see. Let's do this again. So that's clean, you say? Yeah. Was. Was. So. Now, I don't recommend, by the way, that you guys do this, really. We're doing this to show you exactly what it's like to have a clean surface plate. If I hit the basket, yep. sign him up. Pistons. Don't bother calling me, Pistons. <laughs> All right, now we're going to use the real stuff. The, uh, that didn't work. The, uh, the idea of this is to show you how to save money too and make it really clean. Cleaners like this cost $12, $15 each. You got to buy them by the case. There's a number of surface plate cleaners out there, but I'm going to show you how to do this with a household cleaner for pennies instead of spending $15 for something. Let me get it. I'll be right back. This is the ticket. $1.49 a half gallon ammonia. And it really does work, folks. I'll put a little on there. That peanut butter is sticky stuff. Yeah. Jelly, I guess. Whew, I'll tell you what. If you guys... <coughs> Holy moly. If your guys come home or come back to work on Friday after getting their paycheck on Thursday, which, which most of the guys do, they get paid on a Thursday and they're, ah, damn, and they are uh, a little bit tired from maybe having a tip in a couple too many, then this stuff will wake them up. So what I recommend is instead of using those little, you know, those little capsules that you break to when, when somebody is unconscious. Basically, that's what ammonia is. You knew that, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, so now we, I think we got it clean, but just to make sure we got all the P&J off of there, I'm going to give it one more little shot, and we're going to do a bigger area. Now, this, in my view, is the way to clean the surface plate without the peanut butter and jelly. Did that one go in? Oh. Now I'm gonna show you what clean is. Do you believe this is clean, Glenn? Well, yeah, now it is. So you're saying that chemical stuff leaves a residue? Or? That's right. This ammonia does not leave a residue. Once it evaporates, it's clean, it's gone. Watch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I had to buff that stuff before to get it out. Check that out, dude. So the, the bonus is, uh, there's two bonuses. 
One is, if you guys are falling asleep out there, you can take a little whiff of this, it'll kind of wake you up and clean the service plate at the same time. The other one is it's dirt cheap. And lastly, oh, I forgot to mention, uh, great jewelry cleaner. So for the ladies at home that want to clean their jewelry, this is the stuff to use because it really does clean it. Forget all that expensive jewelry cleaner as well. So now we can see, you kind of see how the surface plate is white, unlike what what it looked like before. Yeah. Now, the residue. right now we know that that is clean. You can see the background here when you cleaned it with the other chemical, whatever the heck that was. Mm -hmm. And you look at this one. This is kind of a stark white tone. Now we can take the other half of your sandwich. Hmm. Looks like I don't eat today. And we'll do, we'll do the peanut butter test on this one too. And a little bit of jelly as well. And then we'll take the knife, which has now been sanitized. And we'll put that stuff back on. And I'm sure you're gonna say that this is clean, right? Yes. I'm willing to take a bite. How about you, Glenn? Sure, looks clean to me. Take a bite of that baby. Uh huh. That's how you clean a surface plate. So thanks for watching. Well, folks, what did you think of that? One of our many tips and tricks that we're going to be showing you throughout the years. And believe me, it's going to help you in your business. It's going to make you smarter. It's going to make you work easier and faster. So keep on watching. And on behalf of Suburban Tool, Don Bailey, and thanks for watching.